Hi everyone, this tutorial is brought to you by O3 School Stamp App, the best app currently for students about to sit for the upcoming jump examination. O3 School Jam App will help you get that desired score. So just go to Play Store, download the app and practice, practice, practice. So let's rush into it. Today we are looking at pronouns. Pronouns are words that can stand in place of nouns. We can use them to replace nouns. Let's put that down. <clears throat> so we don't necessarily have to keep repeating the noun. For example, the boy went to school yesterday. The boy saw his teacher yesterday, the boy, the boy, the boy. You don't need to keep repeating them. You can use what pronouns sometimes to make it easier to understand and less confusing or let's say annoying for people. So examples of pronouns we have he, she, me, we, you, I. Those are common pronouns. And take note while using pronouns, ensure that the noun is mentioned somewhere. So we can easily know what you're using that pronoun to, what, to represent or replace. So we look at the types of pronouns. One, we have personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are... Pronouns used to represent persons, basically. So we have examples, I, me, you, she, him. All of these are personal pronouns. I can group personal pronouns into first person, second person, and third person. So first person, the person speaking is first person. And we have I, we, me, us. Those are first person personal pronouns. The person speaking. Then you, the person spoken to. That's second person, which is what? You, the person spoken to. Then the person spoken about is the third person. We have she... He, they, it, them. Those are third person pronouns. So we move to. Oh, sorry. Take note if your if you have these persons in sentences, the second person always comes first, next third person before first person. So you can have she and I. You and I. Then if you have all three, it becomes you, she, and I. We are invited or like that, like that. So in arranging them in sentences, second person comes first, third person before the first person. That's how they are arranged in sentences. Next, we have demonstrative pronouns. These pronouns indicate closeness or distance from the speaker. We have just four. These. So if it is close, you have this for singular, these for plural. And if it is distant, you have that, singular, those for plural. So this is my bag. The bag is close to me. You use this, but that is my father. My father is not what's close to me, is distant. That's demonstrative pronouns. Three, we have interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns from the word interrogative, they are for asking questions. These pronouns are used to ask questions. So we have words which 
hús, hún, hún. All of these are interrogative pronouns used to ask questions. Whose bag is this? To whom did you give the pen? Then for, we have possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are used to show possession or ownership. Used to say that the whatever is being talked about belongs to somebody or someone. So examples of possessive pronouns we have yours, mine, your, my, theirs, like that, like that. These are examples of possessive pronouns. The book is yours. Let's have it. The book is yours. Yours here is replacing your book. So saying the book is your book. You may just say the book is yours. So this is a possessive word, pronoun, standing in place of the noun, your book. Book, rather. So we also have indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns are pronouns that are not specific about what they are referring to. So example, we have anybody, somebody, nobody, everybody, anything, something, everything, anyone, no one. Then we have some, most, neither, either. All of these are examples of indefinite pronouns. So they are not specific about what they refer to. Take note, any and either. We use them to refer to negative sentences or situations neither the boy nor the girl will come that means both of them will not come so we use them for negative situations then we also look at other kinds of pronouns Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to join sentences. And the pronoun in there already refers to the noun mentioned in the sentence before. So we use them to join sentences, or you can say we use them to introduce relative clauses. For example, this is the house which I built. So, which I built here is a relative clause, while which is a relative pronoun. So, for example, replace, uh, talking about this house, that's the noun that they are talking about. Then we also have other examples of relative pronouns like what, whatever, whatsoever, whichsoever, or whichever. All of these are examples of relative pronouns. We also have that. Let's put that. Next, we have reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are used when the doer of the action is also the receiver of the action. So the pronoun comes back to the subject. For example, myself, yourself, themselves, itself, oneself. All of these are reflexive pronouns. And a big mistake many people keep making is their selves. 
themselves does not exist in english language what you have is what themselves you do not have their soul so let's take correction if you once make that mistake there is nothing like their cells so like i said reflexive pronouns comes back to the subject for example i injured myself while washing clothes while, while washing so myself is still what talking about i the subject here so that's for reflexive pronouns it comes back to the subject you only use them when the doer is also the receiver of the action then when you use re reflexive pronouns to show emphasis they now become intensive pronouns so it's intensive pronouns when reflexive pronouns are meant for what? emphasis for example i had dinner with the king himself here himself isn't i instead it is what for the king you're trying to emphasize that you didn't have dinner with just anybody you had dinner with the king himself so here himself is for emphasis so it is not a reflexive pronoun it is an intensive pronoun a common way we can know the difference between intensive pronouns and reflexive pronouns is that intensive pronouns the sentence can still what stand with the same meaning but for reflexive pronouns it won't work. it won't make any more sense for example i injured while washing doesn't make the same sense as i injured myself but if you say i had dinner with the king without putting himself it's still what the same sentence but that himself there is just for emphasis so that's the difference between intensive and reflexive pronouns we also have reciprocal pronouns reciprocal pronouns show exchange of action between people two people or more than two people there are just two reciprocal pronouns which is each other one another each other for two people one another for more than two people so for example you can have the couple give gifts to each other every holiday the couple stands for two people husband and wife give gifts to each other every holiday so since we are dealing with two people we use what each other then more than two people you see the boys congratulated one another after the game here it's not specific that we're talking about two boys so we use what one another we just assume that there are more than two boys there so the boys congratulated one another after the game take note a difference between reciprocal and reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns comes back to the doer of the action while reciprocal pronouns shows exchange the couple give gifts to each other every holiday means the husband gives to the wife the wife gives to the husband so there is what exchange unlike reflexive pronouns that it comes back to the doer of the action that's a major difference that we should take note of so it's not the couple give themselves gifts or give gifts to themselves rather is the couple gives gifts to each other if you say themselves it could mean the husband gives to himself the wife gives to herself that's what re reflexive pronouns but reciprocal pronouns shows what exchange between two or more people in which case we use each other for two and one another for more than two people so let's quickly look through subject and object pronouns
So subject means the doer or performer of the action, while object means the receiver of the action. So, so pronouns can be used for what? Replace subjects. When the noun is the subject, you have pronouns to replace such nouns. And when the noun is in the object, you have pronouns that we use in replacing such pronouns. Take note, subject pronouns can be singular or plural. It can be masculine or feminine. Then we use it if you don't know the gender or for inanimate objects. We use it. So let's take a look at subject pronouns. Here you have I as a subject pronoun. You have me, we, plural, us. This plural of first person, us is the object, also in plural form. Then you have you. You remains you. The object of you is still you. Then he, him, she, her. They, them, it. We still have it as the object form. Then, apart from these, are all personal pronouns. You also, you also have who, which is not a personal pronoun, but it has an object, which is what who. So, when you have who replacing the subject, you have whom to replace the word. As the object, so these are what subject and object pronouns. I becomes me, we, us, you remains you, he, him, she, her, they, them, it, it, who, whom. So let's go on through some common rules guiding the use of pronouns. Rules guiding the use of pronouns. Firstly, we have the subject pronouns. Subject pronouns should take subjects with positions. They should they should replace subject nouns. And mostly subject pronouns are usually subjects are usually found at the beginning of the sentence. So for example, he participated in the competition. He here is a subject pronoun and she would stand in the subject position. Most subjects are usually found at the beginning of the sentence. Number two. Same thing for object. Object pronouns should take object position. Object pronouns should replace object nouns in position of object. A good example. She visited them last summer. You have them here, an object what an object pronoun standing in the object position. Not she visited they. She visited them last summer. So we say use subject pronouns. After the verb to be. So your to be verbs include you have is, am, are, was, were, been, been. All of these are to be verbs. So you we have to use subject pronouns after these words, these verbs. It is I. No, it is me. It is I. This is she. Mm -hmm. 
not this is her so a rule guiding use of pronouns which use subject pronouns after our verbs to be we've mentioned some examples of verbs to be and even give examples of sentences it is i not it is me when what using pronouns then also we have subject pronouns come after us or done when you have us or done in a sentence are you to use a pronoun after it it should be the subject pronoun for example she is as tall as i in finishing the sentence this becomes she is as tall as i am so we can't say she's as tall as me or she's taller than she's taller than i she's as tall as i am she's taller than i am so not me here we should use the subject form of the pronoun after as or done but then if both is coming after done you can then use the object pronoun for example exception to the rule she is taller than us both so if you have both at, at the end you can use the object form so this doesn't this is not supposed to be she's taller than we both but she's taller than us both or them both as the case may be but if both is coming after ensure that you use the words the object form of the verb if not subject form is used after as or than a next rule says possessive pronouns do not take apostrophe s there is no apostrophe s is for nouns to show possession but for pronouns you don't need it so we have yours no need for apostrophe like this is correct yours dears ours so there's no need for apostrophe it already it shows possession you don't need to put an apostrophe again be consistent with pronouns don't start off with a singular pronoun and then in the middle you switch to a plural pronoun be what be consistent if you are staying if you are stating with what singular finish with singular for example no one knows when they will die no one is singular we use it to refer to a singular subject we use it to refer to what singular things so don't now say no one knows when they will die they now is plural so it becomes no one knows when he he or she will die singular singular one cannot enjoy themselves in the party anymore or one cannot enjoy themselves in party anymore it's what is wrong we have one cannot enjoy oneself in parties so be consistent one oneself not themselves or their selves as some people say which i've already said their self doesn't exist in english language then lastly we say when who when you use who to refer to a personal pronoun the verb should take the verb should be a verb that agrees with the personal pronoun not who it is i who am sorry who here is referring to this personal pronoun so the verb should take what i can what can take so you don't put is 
not it is i it is i who is sorry whether it is i who am sorry because i goes with what am not is so take note of this it is i who am sorry so in recapping today we looked at pronouns i would say pronouns are words used to replace nouns we mentioned types of pronouns personal pronouns demonstrative pronouns interrogative pronouns reflexive pronouns reciprocal pronouns then we looked at what subject and object pronouns so we said subject pronouns are pronouns that stand in the subject position and they replace subject nouns while object pronouns replace what object nouns we mentioned examples of subject and object pronouns i me we us you remains you he him she her they them it it who and whom as the subject as the object rather then we look at rules guiding the use of pronouns it says subject pronouns stay in subject positions object pronouns stay in object positions then we use subject pronouns after verb to be which we mentioned is am are was examples of verbs to be then subject pronouns come after as or than except of course there's both coming after what the done that's why we can now go with the object pronoun we also said possessive pronouns do not take apostrophe we write them as they are there is no apostrophe then be consistent with pronouns don't start off with a singular pronoun and end with a plural pronoun lastly when you use i to refer to a personal pronoun ensure that the verb is what the personal pronoun goes with so let's quickly answer some questions on pronouns following the rules that we've looked at one we have soldiers love dash enough to avoid being killed sorry there's a mistake to want to avoid being killed he we have himself b we have their selves c their self and d themselves so he has love dash enough to want to avoid being killed himself here won't work we have to be what consistent so that here is plural himself is himself is singular so it can't go then we have their selves which doesn't exist in english language their self also doesn't exist so that leaves us with themselves so they have love themselves enough to want to avoid being killed we have shared out the food This is dash a it's we have shared out the food. This is dash it's can't go because we are talking of personal pronoun. It's we're talking of persons, so it is not for people, we use it for inanimate objects then your it, although shows possession but you still need to put the the now at the back there's no noun there so we can't use your yours this one comes with apostrophe so it's not what per, a possessive pronoun we do not use what apostrophe with possessive pronoun so our answer here becomes what yours we have shared out the food this is yours three Olu and Bosse got married because they love dash
they have together themselves each other one another of course together can go and we can't use themselves because this is showing what exchange rather than what something coming back to the dual of action so we use what each other since they are just what two people one another is for more than two four we have dash is the owner of this pair of scissors the question so it ends the question mark who this is in the subject position so we use a subject pronoun who is the owner of this pair of scissors not whom which or whose A new government policy on public servants benefits other workers more than dash teachers. Here you have we be there. The, the, the new government policy on public servants benefits other workers more than dash teachers so because something is coming after the dan we use what us more than us teachers not they we know that subject pronouns are meant to come after us or dan but since we have something here we use what us the object form not the subject form then we have F. Young did not find Dash in the house. Someone, B1, C, no one, D, anyone. FM did not find dash in the house. Someone, one, no one, anyone. So there is not here. It's a negative sentence. We already know that we use what any. Anyone for what? Negative sentences. Not someone, one, or no one. So FM did not find anyone in the house. Sule, Malik, and I. No dash very well. A ourselves. B one another. We say Sule, Malik, and I know Dash very well. Ourselves, one another, each other, themselves. So we are dealing with three people. It becomes sort one another. Not ourselves or themselves because this is not sort a test on reflexive pronoun. Or one another since we are dealing with sort more than three people. We also have... He is not reading. Dash is his wife. A either B what 
si neither d since she is not reading dash is his wife this is also a negative sentence we have not there so we use neither which is also which is what we use for negative sentences so this becomes he is not reading neither is his wife so these are these questions were pulled from the o3 school jam app do well to download and answer further questions using the rules that we talked about earlier thank you very much for watching Okay.